Hey, my name is Frank Doroff, and today I'm gonna show you something that I really love about the Rogue Flash Bender stuff. And that's actually the grid. Now, one of the things that I love to do is really grab attention to my model. I want my model to pop out, really, really draw the attention of the viewer towards her. Now, they deliver it with a smaller grid and a bigger grid, as you can see. And it's very easy to mount. What you actually do is, in this case, we're gonna use the bigger grid, is you just place it inside the holder, and if you combine both grids, you will have a very narrow beam of light. When you use the thicker grid, you have a narrow beam of light. And when you use this one, you have a more wider beam of light. And of course, you can combine them both, like I said before. So just put it in like this. And now you place the grid. Make sure that it's nice and tight. There we go. Now use the elastic bands to close it so it won't fall off, and you're done. The only thing you now have to do is mount it on your strobe, and that's very easy with the bands here. There we go, just mount it on the strobe. Now, the light setup is very simple. It's straight on the model, it's like a line of sight. But because I'm using the grids, you will actually be in some sort of spotlight, like a theater spot. And I really love that look because it really, really draws the attention of the viewer towards her. And somehow you can do it in Photoshop, but why fake it when you can create it? It's awesome to do it just with a rogue grid.